Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life. Who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. The Sun. The Temp... I'm sorry, the World. Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords. The High Priestess. The Hierophant. Okay. So I'm getting a message here. For some of you, you may have pulled back your energy from somebody. Okay, whether this has happened a while ago or... Um, recently, you may have pulled back your energy from someone that you were either connecting to or dating or involved with here. And I do feel like there has been somebody around you, someone who you've been connecting to, who has been kind of feeling like they have been at a place of indecision. And I do feel like they are someone who could even be, they could be, this person could be in the public eye, or they could be somebody who, if, if not that, they may just have like a high status. They may be somebody who even could have a strong family tie or even married for some, doesn't have to be. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, I'm just getting somebody who is been pretending to be someone that they maybe truly on the inside, they don't really identify with or resonate with, okay? Um, and I feel like, This is, I feel that like you are somebody who has a lot of pretty deep wisdom within you. Um, you may even be somebody who does identify with kind of knowing exactly what type of connection you're involved in. So if you do have like a highly spiritual connection, I feel like you're somebody who's very in tune with the spirit world. You're very in tune with your spiritual gifts. Um, and you could be somebody who is very in tune with knowing, again, like if you have a spiritual connection with somebody, which could be about this reading. We'll see what else comes up here. But I do feel like you, this this is somebody who you gave up on, okay? So you may have walked away from this person, or you may have just decided that there was not really enough progress that was made in this connection. So again, you detached your energy. Um, and I feel that, again, I'm, I'm just getting this energy of someone who is pretending to be happy in a relationship, or if it's not a relationship, they're pretending to be kind of like maybe all about money or all about um, uh, some type of status kind of is what I'm getting. And I feel like this person, though, they had not really connected to you on that spiritual level when you were together or they didn't really honor the spiritual side of a connection here um, with this high priestess and i feel that there's a sense of this person the person who you're connecting to they've kind of come full circle with something i do feel like they were someone who again maybe have come into this like almost like they've burned out everything that was. So for example, or what I'm trying to say, like they, if they were somebody who was in this like other, other connection or they were involved in things to boost their ego, it's almost like they have run that whole course dry. You know, there's nothing more left in that situation or there's nothing more for them to gain there. Um, and they may have come full circle with a truth that, that maybe even for some of you with the world here, 
when you first met them. That won't be for everyone, but depending on your situation, if you met either a long time ago, or if this is somebody who you recently met, either way, it's just like this person has come to, the person you're connecting to here has come to some type of realization, and it feels like they really do want to tell you the truth. So for those of you who have not spoken about this topic or you have not been in communication with somebody, I feel that they are secretly wanting to communicate to you. They're secretly wanting to even um, bring truth about what they've been going through and tell you about this truth, tell you about the things that they've been realizing. But I feel they have gotten so accustomed to their way of living or they've gotten so accustomed to this certain identity or marriage or um, environment that it's almost like it's made it very hard for this person to make any changes so it's basically i guess you can say somebody who is secretly and this kind of came up for the other reading i did too the other day but um someone who may be secretly going through an inner revelation um somebody who may even be starting to tap into spiritual topics or spiritual studies if they were not doing that before and i do feel like for those of you who this is a third party situation or someone who you disconnected from i do feel like this person is comparing uh kind of like maybe they're, com they're comparing you to this other person or they're comparing how they felt with you versus where they are now There's something about your hair. For some of you, this person loved your hair, especially if they touched your hair a lot or if they ran your their fingers through your hair or you have very long, luscious hair or something about your hair is coming up here. This person could even have long hair for some of you as well. But I definitely feel like you walking away from this connection or you closing out this chapter, closing out this connection, um, is what has maybe instigated this type of change or shift. But for a lot of you, I do feel like you are kind of like moved on or you are someone who has learned all that you can learn as well from this dynamic, which is why it's interesting because I wonder if it's almost like simultaneously while you learn all you can learn from something and move forward, the same thing happens on the other side, on the other end, but in a different way, if that makes sense. And the way that I had explained kind of for this person. Um, I do feel for both of you, for some of you, this could also be a situation where neither of you are saying anything or neither of you are talking to each other. Neither of you are voicing the changes that you're going through because of maybe fear or fear of rejection or even a little bit of pride or ego there. And I do feel also this person who you're connecting to, they could be somebody who has maybe even like a jealous person around them or they could even have like they're defensive about what they're going through or they could have um, something that kind of makes them feel a bit stuck, you know, is kind of what I'm getting here. and. This person is someone who it's getting harder and harder for them to not tell you this. It's getting harder and harder for this person to not tell you how they feel um, or harder for this to kind of be apart in certain ways. And I feel like again, I keep getting somebody who's very stuck in their ways, though. of swords this person feels very misunderstood where they are again they may feel like they don't belong where they are or they don't feel like they fit in okay the empress of wands they definitely are somebody who is moving very secretly moving in silence I feel like they're afraid that
It's like, again, I feel like this person is somehow, they have a lot of responsibility. They have a lot on their plate. Either they're like uh, someone who has a lot going on around them, or they could have um, pressures or even like a big family, or they could even have a lot of children. I don't know. For some of you, there's just something about them having to be the sun all the time. Having the, or them having to be... It's like, okay. It's like somebody who has identified with a certain identity, <laughs> identify with a certain identity, and they have, again, kind of grown so accustomed to it that it becomes all that they know, um, which in this case feels exhausting. This is definitely somebody who blew their chances with you, okay? They blew their chances with you, um, and they know this, and that's why the Ten of Swords is here too. I just noticed there's some nudity there. Um, they blew their chances with you. If this person could be, even for some, connecting to a very materialistic individual, it could be a partner, could even be a family member, yeah, a false person, it could be a false person that they're connecting to, someone who is keeping them in a certain identity, okay? So even if they can leave, you know, it's like they still feel like they're tethered to this, they still feel like they're tied to this definitely involving again family finances marriage maybe um and i'm getting one of the main reasons here that this person may have either gone down this path or that this person has detached from you is because they felt like you were someone who was too much to handle in certain ways Like I'm getting that you have like a very healing energy to you also. I feel like this person, especially for those of you who have not maybe been in contact with this particular person, you have a very healing energy to you, but I also feel at the same time that you have this like a very significant energy to you, which you're no longer um, holding on to this though. You're no longer, maybe some of you have, were hopeless romantic in the past, I'm getting, um, but I feel like you're no longer gonna hold on to this situation or hold on to this person. And that is part of this, this whole thing right now. So you, you kind of feel like this is over. Maybe some of you don't even know this is going on. Maybe some of you don't even know I mean, you probably know who I'm talking about, but you may not know that this is happening or that this is going on here because it does feel... Like you definitely, some of you are dreaming about this person though. That could be how you know this is for you. If you've been dreaming about them, if they've been showing up in your dreams, that is one way that they are communicating to you. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you have this love for this person. You have this care and genuine connection with them. But I'm just getting that you're, you kind of are distancing yourself again, it, even energetically, you've distanced yourself from the situation because I'm seeing that you may know about this or you may not know about it, but there's a feeling of like intuitively, you know about it then. If you don't know about it in the, in the real world, you kind of intuitively know about this and it feels like a stingray. Like it feels like you have to shuffle your feet and be careful of where you step and where you go. And I do feel, to be honest, some of you have had your life kind of held back a little bit by this. Maybe you've been very emotionally drained lately, or you feel like at times you become very drained by this whole situation. Um, and that's kind of another reason that I feel you have been in limbo about this. You haven't known what the point of this whole journey is, or why do I feel this connection, or why do I feel this person's energy? Um, so that can also be another confirmation for how you know this is for you. But... 
Again, I'm getting this has probably been um, frozen for some time. It's probably been on ice for some time, this connection. Even if it's just been a short amount of time, it doesn't have to be years, but it could be a short amount of time or a long amount of time. And I do feel like you do sense that there's a shift taking place though. So you probably energetically pick up on this information um, and this person too. It does feel like you energetically do connect with each other a lot. And I do think that you both kind of, again, like I said before, I think you both may have a hard time speaking your truth about this. So there's a sense of like, if we can't talk in person, if we can't talk in real life, let's talk through our dreams or something. So I do think that there's this kind of a sense of um, frustration a little bit here, I would say, between the two of you. And I think that this is like an undeniable connection. So when you're together or when you were together before, there is a feeling of there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of attraction here between the two of you, for sure. Yeah, trust your intuition right now. I do feel like you're having to trust. It says here, trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about this person or situation. Your feelings are real. Tune into your guidance and follow it. You already know the answer. Yes, there's a need for more communication. Work on communicating and connecting in different ways that are positive, healthy, and effective. Fully connect with this person and tell them how you feel. Because I'm getting that you both have quite a bit of pride about this, or you both have not voiced again how you truly feel about this connection. And that is maybe where this whole situation comes in. Um, I feel like this person, if you did push this person away, which it looks like a lot of you may have disconnected, they, in a way, they don't know, yeah, the Page of Swords, the Hanged Man, they don't know if they can get in touch with you. They almost feel like you're not on their side, which, I mean, there could be a, a valid reason for that. I mean, with this information we picked up on before, maybe it's for a reason. Maybe there's too much in the way. Maybe there's too much going on, but that's just what they're kind of coming through to feel right now, that they can't really get in touch with you. Um, And they're going to continue to watch you. It's like I feel this person has been watching you quite literally or even just like in their mind. They have been stuck on this because they haven't known what the truth is either. It's like there's a lot of confusion here. They haven't known what's really going on either. For those of you, again, I'm getting who could have completely closed the door. Even if you completely close the door, they still think about this. And I do think that this person, especially if they're unhappy right now, they kind of hold this connection as a bit of a fantasy or, or desiring that it can maybe one day work out or it can one day come together. This person also could be feeling very depleted in their life, like I said before, but they could also feel very passionate about you that they have not been able to express somewhere else. Um, so they, um, yeah, they may have this passion for you that
they're bringing me back to the message again for a lot of you this could be somebody who you had a past with before somebody who you did have history with or someone who things were really good with before um, and they're thinking back a lot to that connection recently But again, it's like this person, I don't know if they're going to do anything about it. It's like they're going to think about this, watch this, look at you, but they're having a hard time doing anything about it. That's the thing. Like they may not be taking action on how they feel. So it's a lot of it's because of fear of rejection. They're afraid that you would reject them if they were to talk to you right now. They're afraid that you would push them away even further or maybe even block them. The two of swords coming up at the bottom here too. They just see this like that right now. For some of you, if this is, um, again, I'm getting that situation, if it's not a third party, I think for a lot of you there could be a third party influence, but it won't be for everyone. If it's not, it could be that they just were not honest about what they wanted when it comes to a commitment. They uh, felt like they beat around the bush. They didn't really tell you the truth about what they needed or wanted at the time. And that's another reason that they're kind of stuck in this place now of like looking back on it or thinking about you, uh, but maybe they sort of... again we're not honest but I do feel something about like intentions maybe I don't know something about like this person having certain intentions that are were superficial which may have been about something else which is why we have this false person here so either they were somebody who was quite superficial let's see devil the king of cups okay yeah this person could be somebody I'm getting two things again going back to the reference where if this is a connection that's not allowed or not somehow forbidden you know because of another connection or even religious differences or something with the hierophant um, they could be feeling that they need to contain themselves hold themselves back but at the same time, I'm getting that for others of them, they want to be able to kind of do things differently or they want to be able to clean up their act kind of is what I'm getting. This person, again, they kind of feel a secret obsession with you. There's like a secret obsession this person has with you. But it's something very either non-traditional or it's just again not allowed um, or they would have to truly match this level of you being the hierophant and the world over here so either way you look at it they kind of still feel like you know they can't shake this Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like there's this feeling of like unfinished nagging energy. This is unfinished, unfinished business. And maybe you feel this way too, but this person is someone who is struggling with this idea of having unfinished business with you, but they've put themselves in that position for a lot of them. And that's the thing that they're having to cope with now. They're having to deal with this. They're having to ask themselves, why am I, why am I in this position right now? Why did I put myself in this position? And that's just simply something that they have to deal with and, and come to terms with. But that's what I'm picking up right now. Now, this person uh, moving forward they 
they don't feel connected to you anymore. Or I mean, they, f they feel like you've disconnected from them, I should say. They feel like you, they don't feel the connection that you were there anymore. And they really do feel defeated. They feel like they kind of defeated with their own games or their own struggles right now. And the thing is, is that this person is too prideful to say, I'm sorry. They're, they feel they're too prideful to really say that I'm sorry um, or to explain something right now to you. Yeah, and, and part of it is that they do have to go through this themselves. You know, they do have to kind of go through this challenge right now themselves. And they have to be able to get, get out of it or get through it. And Spirit is really giving them a hard time, especially if they are somebody who um, got involved in all this and did this. It's like there's a there's a, you know... So we have make a conscious choice and patience. Let me get some final oracle cards here. Again, your intuition is telling you something, okay? So a lot of you need to trust right now in your intuition with the High Priestess here too and the Trust Your Intuition card. Okay, there may be a shift taking place within about eight months, six to eight months or before the holiday season. And what this shift is, is not being able to hide the truth anymore. So some of you, of course, it could be sooner than that, but there will be some type of truth exposure um, by that time period that I feel right now. That's why it says patience here. So if something right now is um, in the middle of this whole, you know, false person thing, this whole situation, it feels like this person will almost have to like have an ultimatum, okay? I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is to hurt you. It's like they don't want to. They're trying to get information about you, though. This person could be trying to spy or get information. See, so yeah, they're very stubborn. So they're also, with the sun, they have a stubborn disposition about them right now. I'm distracted right now. Yeah, they have definitely some influences, I feel. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. Because of greed, I'm hearing again, there's something with a greed. I'm not sure if they try to follow a certain path to like, I don't know. There's something about greed here. Big happy changes are coming when you least expect it. I feel like I lost you and I'm not coping well with it. I think that came up for the other reading too, very similar. Uh, and at the bottom we have sorry. unresolved and I want to see you so I hope that this could resonate with somebody um, let me know if this connects with you and I'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you next time take care and lots of love love love